Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be talking through some of my favourites. I think I missed out last month, maybe even the month before in terms of favourites. I'm not very good at this whole like scheduling videos in time and all that jazz, but um, yeah, I have a bunch of favourites, kind of like a monthly favourites, but I have been loving them for the past few months. And I thought I would just show you guys everything I've been loving. So the first thing is what I've got on my lips right now, and it kind of looks like one of the NYX Soft Matte Lip Creams. This is something I've actually had for a really long time. It's the Manhattan Soft Matte Lip Cream, and this is in the shade... 56k so yeah I'm wearing it right now and I also have another shade um I don't know how easy they are to find but I know Fragrance Direct do stock them and they're about two quid they are absolutely amazing I'm pretty sure they are like a complete dupe for the soft matte by NYX um but yeah I've been loving this shade I actually wore this on my graduation day stayed perfectly and yeah I just really, really love it really easy to apply matte finish nice and creamy smells like cake love it Next is the foundation that I've been loving this month. If you guys saw the video, you'll know I am very, very fond of this. This is the new Urban Decay All Nighter Foundation. I have mine in the shade 3.0. Perfect colour match for me. I absolutely love this stuff. Literally stays on your face for probably until you would need to take it off. I'd imagine this will probably last like a good day or so. So from like as early as possible in the morning to as late as possible at night. This just does not budge and I love the finish of it as well. Love the colour. Just an absolute favourite of mine. And next we have another foundation. If you guys saw my full face of first impressions video, then you'll know how much I love this stuff. This is the Milani 2-in-1 Conceal and Perfect Foundation. This is so, so good. This is literally my perfect skin tone, like when I'm tanned, because I'm like white as a sheet when I'm not tanned. This is good when I'm tanned, and it's honestly really, really nice full coverage. Not as full coverage as the Urban Decay, but just seriously good coverage, and it's around like £10 or something. Um, I have mine in the shade 02 Natural, so maybe wouldn't recommend it if you are a lot fairer than me, because I think I've got like the second lighter shade or something. Um, but yeah, absolutely love this stuff. It's like one of my favourite foundations possibly ever. Again, another product from the full face of first impressions. You're kind of sensing a theme going on here. This is the It Cosmetics Bye Bye Under Eye. Love the stuff. Like I go to use my um, natural, not natural collection, the collection Lasting Perfection one, and I still really, really like that stuff. But the finish that this gives me, I have it on right now, and I had the Milani foundation on now. If you were wondering as well, um, the finish this gives me just amazing compared to the collection concealer. I honestly love this stuff. Will 100% be repurchasing when I finish it. But to be honest, you only need the tiniest amount, so I can't see myself going through this very, very quickly. Another product is something that I've actually had for a really, really long time. This is the MAC, which one is it? The NC20 Studio Finish Concealer. I used to use this as like an actual concealer under my eyes. It was okay, didn't love it, kind of threw it to the back of my beauty drawer. But I've been starting to carve out my brows using this, and it's honestly amazing. Like, literally the best brow carving concealer I've come across. So, if you like carving your brows out like I do, give this one a go. Next I have some of the Ciate Pretty Sticks, I think that's what they're called anyway. Um, and these are basically like a tinted kind of balm, but they're like really, really pigmented. Um, I haven't got a shade in particular that I've been loving, but take for example this one which is in the shade Sweetheart. It really matches what I'm wearing on my lips right now. and. Because obviously if you wear liquid lipsticks, your lips will get a lot drier as the day goes on. I like to put this over the top, like when, I don't know, maybe four or five hours into it. And it's a perfect colour match. So I've got a bunch of different shades. So they do match loads of different shades that I have in terms of liquid lipstick. I put this on and it just gives my lips like loads of pigment again. It's not matte because obviously these are more balmy. But it does just kind of like save my lips and they're really, really nourishing as well and yeah i just really really love them as a product i don't tend to love sort of more sheer lip products but sometimes when i'm just sort of running around and i do want a little bit of something on my lips i will chuck some of this on and it's just a really nice color next is something that if you saw my giveaway you will recognize this this is the rhodiol banana powder it's just in the shade 05 i think they're all the same shade but this is just your standard banana powder i love it for under my eyes that's kind of what I really use it for. I don't really use it for any other area of my face, but under my eyes, so brightening. It doesn't look cakey or anything like that, and the packaging is, like, stunning. Um, yeah, absolutely love this. If you're looking for a really, really nice banana powder, then definitely check this out. I don't know if you guys can tell from where you are, but I have a lot of hair. Like, when I go to the hairdressers, they are stunned at the amount of hair that's on my head, and I've now gotten it down to about three times a week that I have to actually wash my hair, which is pretty good going for me, but every time I have to dry it, I literally just want to I just want to shave all of my hair off because it takes so, so long. Like It can literally take about half an hour to 40 minutes sometimes. But I recently tried out the Cloud9 Quick Dry Potion and this stuff, thank you Jesus. This is so, so good. It literally makes me like able to dry my hair in about 10 minutes and it's like 
bone dry and there's no like wet bits because normally I kind of get bored halfway through if I'm drying my hair for like 40 minutes and I kind of just leave it. Um, but this just gives me like full on, really, really nice blowout and you only need a couple of sprays as well. I think it smells good. I think it does. I'm going to have a sniff. Yeah, smells really, really good actually. It kind of smells a bit like a cocktail almost. Um, and I think this has heat protection in your hair as well. Yeah, so extreme heat protection. You don't need to add extra heat protection if you don't want to and it dries your hair so, so quickly. Absolutely love this. Next up, another first impressions favourite of mine is the Milani Lip Cream and I have mine in the shade Adorable. Again, if you saw my video, then you will know that I loved this stuff. Really, really love the colour. It's like a really nice everyday, almost like a grey nudie sort of shade. Yeah, absolutely love this. 100% going to be picking up more Milani ones, so if you have any colour recommendations, then leave them in the comments down below. Then the last bit for makeup is the Shade and Light Quad Palette from Kat Von D. I have mine in the shade Rust, and if you haven't seen the video where I try this out, I will, again, leave a link to it down below, but the colours in this, amazing. I love that it's all really nice neutral colours, so I can do like an everyday look, but I can also create a really, really grungy look with this kind of orangey shade. I actually have a touch of it on my eyes right now, only a touch, yeah, literally a tiny bit, but I absolutely love this because it just means I can just carry it around and do like a base and do a highlight and everything like that. And then if I kind of want to do like a day to night look, I can maybe just focus on these two colours and maybe that sort of shade in the crease. And if I want to go all out in the night time, I can just pile the two middle shades on my eyes and look really, really grungy. And yeah, absolutely love this. Been loving Kat Von D makeup recently. So if you do want to have like a little look at my first impressions video of that, you know, you know where to look down there. Another hair care favourite of mine is the, wait for it, Goldwell Kera Silk Reconstruct Split Ends Recovery Concentrate. It's like the longest name ever. But all it is, it's kind of like a serum sort of thing that you put through the ends of your hair. You just do the little squishy bit. I have way too much fun, like, squishing that button down. Uh, and you only need a tiny amount. I probably have like four or five drops in the palm of my hands. And I just pop it through the ends of my hair. As you can see, my natural hair colour is a lot darker than the ends of my hair. And obviously the ends of your hair they feel it a lot more than your roots. So what I like to do is I like to pop this right on the ends of my hair, I like to massage it through my hands and just run it through the ends and it's honestly gotten rid of the majority of my split ends. I don't know how it's done it, but like the ends of my hair, compared to how they were feeling a good few weeks ago, they just feel like so, so soft. And yeah, I think it's all down to this to be honest. So if you are suffering from like split ends or anything like that, or if you do like to bleach your hair, definitely check this out because it's like saved the ends of my hair, which means I don't have to have it cut as often, which is great. Last but not least, I have something that looks maybe a little bit crazy. It does kind of look like an oven mitt, but this is the Bronzy Got Your Back Tanning Mitt. And as you can tell by the name, it tans your back, which is like the best invention ever. I like to think I'm pretty flexible in terms of tanning. Like I've got very long arms compared to the size of my body. And I feel like my arm could kind of get pretty much everywhere on my back. But if you're a fake tanner like me, you know that one area that you just cannot reach. This will reach it. So the idea is that you obviously use like the hand sections just to tan your body, but then when you want to get to your back or any other area you can't reach, you just put the tanning mousse or whatever it is on this part, and you kind of just, you know how you use towel, and this isn't a very good demonstration, I just look a little bit crazy, but you kind of like, just do that, and I don't really know what this motion is called, but you guys know what I mean, and it just tans your back like the best invention ever. So if you're a fake tanner, and if you can't reach that one part of your back, try it, it will change your life. So that's it for my favorites for this month and kind of last month and maybe the month before or whenever I last filmed the favorites video. Let me know what your favorites are in the comment section down below and if you've tried any of the products that I'm loving today. As always, please give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and subscribe if you do wanna see more of me. I post every Thursdays and Sundays. But apart from that, that's it from me. I love you guys and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.